Hey, Mike Swanson here of WallStreetWinner.com. I want to show you a fascinating home for sale in Greensboro, North Carolina. It's actually the most expensive home currently for sale um, and six mo over $6 million. Uh, the home below it is like, I can't find homes for sale more than $2 million currently. So this is a expensive home, but it's was built by the founder of Burlington Industries. If you don't know what Burlington Industries is, you probably aren't living in Greensboro or the Piedmont area. Uh, but Burlington Industries was one of the largest textile companies in the United States at one time. It was founded in 1923 by Spencer Love and Spencer Love built this home in 1937. And it went through tremendous renovation in the 1990s and the value of the houses is gone up the past couple years. We're going to go through a tour. Let me show you uh, the listing. And that enables us to go on a tour. I mean, this is the big house. Um, you know, I, I don't even know if they'd let us in uh, without uh, permission at first. Certainly not. Uh, this is definitely for the masters of the world or what. And he was one of them for his time. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's on a three acre lot. It's in a, one of the richy rich neighborhoods of Greensboro, six bedrooms, seven and a half baths, and it's big. And let's take a look by first looking at the outside. Look at all that parking space. You, I mean, this is like something out of the Godfather of a gate like that. You could drive, you know, you get your guards right there if you need them and, and you come in. And for six and a half million dollars, you can live like the Godfather. Good look at that swimming pool. Absolutely beautiful it makes you want to find a way to make six and a half million dollars so you can live in a house like this um, or, or live in this one. Look at that garage. It's got tennis courts. That's what you're looking at back in there. Tennis courts. A nice stairway on the inside as you enter. Nice living area. Does look like something out of the 30s or decorated, you know, to look like the 30s and like today, I mean, it's spotless. It's not like you're seeing a bunch of spider webs or something. Look at that beautiful office library. Absolutely wonderful. Imagine the deals that old Spencer was doing in here. Nice dining room, nice kitchen, smart little like a uh, breakfast room. Look at that bedroom. Another angle of the bedroom. Nice, uh, beautiful bathroom. Another bedroom. Another bedroom. Yeah, the renovations look great. Look at that. That's just incredible. It's like, like I said, living like a baron. That's what this is. Now there you can see that's a modern renovation for this bathroom. I don't think Spencer would disapprove of these renovations. I really don't. But that's it. Wonderful home. Six and a half million dollars. Country Club Drive. <laughs> and uh, if you're curious about the surrounding area, it's not far from a Target. It's not far from the hospital. It's not far from... Um, you know, the main city, the airport, Piedmont, Triad International is not far away. And I got to say, if you've never been to that airport, um, it's not very busy. Uh, it's easy to go in and out of that airport. Uh, it's it's RDU's not far away. The Charlotte International Airport isn't that far away either. But Piedmont International is closer and less busy. But I guess if you're Spencer Love, got that kind of money you might have your own private plane uh, but just out of curiosity tax value 4.4 million and you can see how the the home value has uh, really taken off uh, in the past uh, year and a half uh, by the estimates of, of, of various websites so fascinating home listing indeed and look, I'm going to put it in my email newsletter uh, listed in there. 
Uh, that's what I do. I got a news digest. You can subscribe to that below this video. There's a link to that. But like this video so I'll know to do more videos like this. Uh, I look to see which ones people like. And so does YouTube. And if you want to get my next video, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. And I'll be talking uh, with you later.